Um, so this video is about interpolation and the goal here is to get to bilinear interpolation which we can then use to create our own noise texture. So we have two points here like the orange dot and the blue dot and as you can see the there's empty space here so we want to connect these two and that's basically what where we use interpolation. So one way we can connect these is by using a line we could also connect them with a weird curve, you know, so it could be anything. So the first thing we'll look at is just the line. And although this connects it really well, um, the problem here is that at, there's a very sharp corner here, which is usually undesired. So what we can do is instead of a line, we can use um, a function called smooth step where it becomes flat at the edges. This way, the transition from one line to the other is much smoother. That's why it's called smooth step. And um, that's because it is flat at the edges. Um, the derivative is zero at the edges. Now, this is really smooth already, but we can go even smoother by also making um, the second derivative zero at the edges. And that's where the smoother step comes in. This will be a fifth degree polynomial, while um, smooth step is a third degree polynomial. As you can see, it's really flat at the edges and then transitions nicely to the other one. So this is all three of them combined. And you can see that the smoother step is just a little bit smoother than the smooth step. So how do we use this interpolation in Blender? For that we can use the map range node. Now um, how this is set up, we've got the generated coordinates, which remember go from 0 to 1, and then we're taking the x coordinate. So we're just looking at the x direction, which is like this. So. Um, then we're using the map range node. So this is the map range is basically the interpolation node, right? Um, so it takes in a value and this tells you how far you are from the left side to the right side. So how far are you between the minimum and the maximum? Now technically this value can go outside the minimum and the maximum, but then it will just continue it, um, the value linearly. Also, what we can have is um, the two min and the two max. And these are the values that we want the result to be in between. So if you use the clamp, then the values, the result will always be between minimum and maximum. So let's say we set it to minus one, let's set it to minus one and one here. And you can see that the value here is minus one and here it's one because zero gets the from minimum gets mapped to the two minimum and the from max gets mapped to the two max and the others are interpolated linearly in between. Now, if I change this to something like 0 0.2, this to 0 0.8, this is not correct, but it just continues it linearly. However, if you use the, the clamp node then I had to update it. You can see that it um, clamps the values so that they don't go above the two min and two max. So if I remove this, it needs to update again. There we go. So now you can see that it is correct. Now we don't need to use linear. So let's set this back to zero and one. We can also use smooth step. So this is built into Blender. And now you can see it's much smoother. And then we can also use smoother step like this. So if we um, increase these you, so that we have more flat parts, if you now look at the linear part and clamp the result, you can see that this is a really rough edge, right? It's a sharp corner. 
Well, if we just look at the smooth step, this sharp corner, corner is gone and it's now a smooth transition for, between the two flat surfaces. And for the smoother step, the transition will be even smoother. So this is how we can use the map range node to get interpolation between two values. Now that we've covered the 1D example, we can look at the 2D example, which is bilinear interpolation. And the bi obviously refers to two dimensions. So as you can see, we now have four points, um, the four um, points on the plane. So in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to um, apply just the 1D version multiple times to get a 2D version. So first we're going to do the linear interpolation or smooth step between this point and this point and the same for this point and this point so we get two lines like this and then what we'll do is for every point on that line we'll then do an interpolation going um, along the y direction so first we do interpolation along the x direction and then um, an interpolation along the y direction or the other way around it works as well so again we've got the generated coordinates so as you can see, we're using the x value in these two map ranges. And then in the last map range, we're using the y value. And then just the a, b, c, and d correspond to the points on the plane. So let's see what happens when we start changing some values. So as you can see, this is a straight line between this value and this value. While on the other one is flat. And if you look from the side, these are also straight lines. That's because we're using linear interpolation. So from each, from the two edges, there are always straight lines, but together they give a curved surface. So we can also change um, these values to whatever you want. And we get a nice surface. So this is bilinear interpolation. Now, obviously what we can do Let's change all of these to smooth step. And now you can see we get a much smoother result, which is more pleasing and in much a lot of cases a lot better. And even better would be smoother step. So we get a nice curved surface like this. And this is what we'll be using to um, create our own noise texture using just the white noise. So we'll be converting the white noise to something a little bit more smooth using the techniques here.